Uh, I would describe myself as a synthetic chemist uh, and I would say that chemists are interested in um, looking at the world and observing the, the nature of, of molecules and the structures that they are and proving what those structures are and they're also interested in assembling new materials. Look, really what we do is we invent new catalytic reactions, we invent new tools, but more fundamentally we try and demonstrate concepts. We try and um, realise a concept that can be applicable um, next year, in 50 years, and 100 years time to assemble new materials. So the, the world, the modern world we live in, whether you want to talk about pharmaceuticals or advanced materials, these are all defined by organic molecules and some inorganic molecules, but largely organic molecules that are assembled using tools that were invented by organic chemists. And so I want to make sure that the world of 10 years time and 50 years time has the tools it needs to not only make new materials that uh, have never been made before, but also to make them with high levels of efficiency that don't create waste that, that makes those technologies preclusive to the planet. So, Where we work in terms of reaction discovery is always goal focused in as much as there's something I want to be able to make and that comes from reading the literature and finding it efficiency. And it could be that I'm trying to make compound X but really there's no technology out there that allows me to do that. And that's fantastic. When I identify that moment, I go, okay, clearly that's something that I can work on to try and invent a new bit of chemistry to then apply to that problem of making compound X. However, once one starts that process and dis maybe discovers that reaction, or maybe doesn't discover that reaction and starts investigating it and really learning more about the reactivity of molecules, then you discover other things. And all of those little tangents can be equally as interesting as the central thread of what you were originally shooting for. So discovery sort of comes in a premeditated fashion, but it also has a heavy aspect of the serendipity. And, and so you, you do, in, in the way I operate anyway, you do have a, a lot of time spent going, okay, that's what we're observing. Is that interesting as well? Is there something interesting in the thing that we didn't necessarily originally shoot after? Science can be quite an isolating experience because it isn't necessarily something that you can convey to everyone. Your family will understand it at a superficial level, your friends similarly, society more beyond that, uh, it starts to become less so. So um, you have to draw a lot of that um, confidence internally because you're not going to get that from traditional support networks. You're going to have to find some place inside of you that says this is worth doing and eventually we will have the breakthrough that we're hunting for. If you truly follow things that, 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 that matter to you, um, the rest of it will fall into place.